Okay, you don't have to be an art connoisseur to be familiar with Salvador Dali, right? <laughs> His artwork took the world by storm from the early 1900s through the mid-century. Still really popular today. Yeah. And, of course, we have the Dali Museum right there in St. Pete. And that showcases a lot of his work. Oh, we're so lucky to have it we here, are. too, right? Fox 13 photojournalist Mike Hughes is introducing us to a man who was so inspired by Dali's work that it made him rethink how modern art can be transformed. I had very little knowledge of art or what art could be until one day I walked into a bookstore and saw a Salvador Dali book. It really blew my mind. It had imagery that I never conceived possible or thought that anyone had done. When I saw it, I was inspired to look further into Dali and how that art was done. I went and met Dali in uh, 1970 and taught myself to paint to be able to have a way to relate to him and in 1971 started working with him for a period of six years. Working with Dali was an incredible and remarkable experience. Every week, every day had a new experience, a new celebrity, a new thing to be working on. He had this passion to bring the third dimension to a flat surface in art. He felt that ever since the Renaissance, this is what artists have been trying to do through mostly perspective. In 2012, I was in New York and saw a display in Manhattan of a Spider-Man movie, which had Spider-Man hanging off the side of a building which used a lenticular lens to project that image of the 3D Spider-Man, and I wanted to try to implement it in my art. A lot of my art is based on fractals, mathematical patterns that are done on the computer, and those fractals are integrated with other imagery to become the picture that I want to paint. When the picture becomes an oil painting, uh, I then photograph it in high resolution, separate it in Photoshop as separate layers, and make that into a 3D image and translate it to a lenticular image. I wanted to bring computer technology in my work to classical art by integrating fractals into oil paintings. And now, with making 3D that's full color, without glasses, without any other implements to, to view it, I thought I could offer my viewers something really new and unique. Since humans are stereoscopic, we have two eyes, that, and that is why we see 3D, you won't ever be able to see how this looks in reality on film because the camera has one eye. Uh, and the detail, the amount of detail and the amount of depth is really quite incomprehensible in comparison to what you'll be able to see on just a camera. I think that it's, it's extremely unique in that it has a place in the art world beyond museums. I, I think 3D art belongs in every hotel lobby and in, in bars and all over the place and that it's reasonably priced so people could, could afford to have it in their homes. Methods used to do this with the lenticular lenses allow, actually allow you to look through the glass-like water appendages that form the head. I think that the 3D art involves the viewer more. I think a flat canvas is nice, but I, I've learned as an artist that making your canvas larger, a very large canvas, helps envelop your viewer. In the same way, having the art be 3D allows the viewer to be enveloped by the picture by making them think they could stick their arm in it or that those objects are floating around them in space. Since artists have tried to reproduce the third dimension ever since the Renaissance, as Dali was trying to do, in doing and creating perspective and shadows and whatnot in, in fine art, I think that this is the ultimate in art and that it should be everywhere. Photojournalist Mike Hughes says this was some of the most incredible and unique artwork he's ever seen. He says really there was no way the camera, his camera, could actually capture what you will see with the human eye. And if you'd like to check out Lewis's 3D art for yourself, he's going to be showcasing his work at the Leeper Ratner Museum. That's from August 27th to February 6th. And you can also find out more at lewismarcoya.com. Those were some pretty amazing images. There. That was fascinating. Very interesting. You know, it, interesting. second, I'm like, hold on, I'm watching this right now. This is pretty cool. <laughs>